Hello, uh, my name is Helen. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about how giving back, um, helping other people, and um, how you can work to improve the environment and stuff. Um, I've got a PowerPoint presentation, which I'm going to share with you in just a second. And there will be times where I want to stop the video and have a conversation. So if the teacher could be standing by ready to hit pause at certain points, if I remember to say so at the right place, that would be great. So I'll see if I can get my PowerPoint presentation up. Okay, here we go. So um, I work for an organisation called Spark Somerset. And my job is to help um, organisations and charities to get the volunteers that they need to be able to do what they do. So volunteers are people who give their time for free um, to help other people or to help the community, to help those around them or to help the environment. Um, and organisations need those. So my job is to help the, the organisations get those volunteers. Now, um, I'm not going to ask you to be giving up your weekends to go and help other organisations or anything. But what we're going to think about today is how what, what you can do um, to, to help to make the world a better place to help other people. So um, what we're going to do first is we're going to have a little think about what makes a good person. OK, so um, I'm going to ask you to talk with the people um, sitting around you and just have a little think about what do you think makes someone a good person? And if your teacher wants you to, you can also discuss it as a class, but um, just five minutes to think about what you think makes someone a good person would be great. So teacher, if you could pause the video now, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, so you've all had a think now about what makes some, someone a good person. I expect you had lots of different ideas. Um, but if your brain think works in the same way as mine does, then you probably will have thought that a good person helps other people, is kind, and maybe does things to help the environment as well. And that's what we're thinking about today. Okay, now some people um, do things for others because they believe in a God and they think that God wants them to do it. Other people do it just because it feels good for them or because they think that they're very lucky and they want other people, they, they feel that they should give something back and help other people because they're so lucky. So there are lots of different reasons for people helping others and giving back um, and they're all good reasons um, but I think we all agree that you know a good person is someone who helps other others and gives something back to the community so um, we've got a picture of some people here um, they're quite different people we've got Prince Harry helping to build something I think somewhere in Africa we've got Marcus Rashford the famous footballer we've got two girls who are planting a tree but they're not anyone famous um, just in a photo I found on the internet. Um, we've got Greta Thunberg who campaigns for the environment and we've got this little girl doing some washing up. Now they're all quite different people but they all have something in common and what they have in common is that they all give up their time for free to help others or to help the environment. So Marcus Rashford um, besides playing football he also campaigns um, for children whose parents can't afford to give them food to be able to get the food so that children can have good food to eat so he believes very strongly in that and he and he influences people and, and and tries to make sure that that happens likewise Greta Thunberg travels the world talking to politicians and telling them how they should do things differently and um, to make the world a better place and then we've got these two girls planting trees nothing you know nothing very high level nothing very powerful but it's still a very important thing that they're doing they're planting trees, which are good for the environment, but also be something for people to enjoy um, in years to come as well. And the little girl doing the washing up, that may not feel like a big deal. And, you know, you may have regular arguments at home about who does their chores and when. But if for her, doing the washing up helps her family, helps them have a better day, helps things more, run more smoothly in the household. So all of these people help others in different ways, but it doesn't have to be great big high level things. It can be small little things that you do in your community to try and make the world a better place and to help people. So next slide. Um, so now what I want you to do is to talk to the people sitting next to you when we pause the video in a minute. I want you to talk to the people sitting next to you about um, what would you like to change in the world? What would you like to see differently? So we saw that Marcus Rashford is very passionate about children having good food to eat. And Greta Thunberg is very passionate about saving the environment. But what's important to you? 
Um, it doesn't have to be something that you'd like to change in the whole big wide world, but something you might like to change locally in your town or your village, or maybe um, something you'd like to change in the school. What, what, what difference would you like to be see that would make, make things better? So if the teacher could pause the video, you can have a chat in your groups, maybe share as a class as well if you've got time. But just have a little think about what things you'd like to change in the world. Thank you. Pause the video now. Thanks very much. OK, so moving on. So you've thought of great things that you'd like to change in the world or maybe little things that you'd like to change in the world. And now what we need to do is think about how can you make that happen? So how can you be the Greta Thunberg or the Marcus Rashford or those girls planting trees? What can you do? And it doesn't have to be anything massive. So if, for example, when you talked about what you wanted to change in the world, um, you talked about maybe uh, wanting to save animals who are at risk of extinction. You don't have to be going off to Africa to save rhinos. What you could do is design posters and raise awareness so that people know that um, there are animals who are at risk of extinction, or um, you might want to raise some money for a charity that helps those animals. Um, maybe you're worried about children not being able to have enough food. And you can't be like Marcus Rashford, you can't go and talk to the prime minister. But what you could do is um, give some food to the food bank in Froome so that children in Froome would have enough food. So um, now it's time for you to, I want you to pause the video again, have a little talk with your friends and think if you can see if you can come up with some ideas about how, um, what little things can you do to make the world a better place. Um, have a chat and then we'll get back together. If you can pause the video now teacher, thank you. Okay, great. So what next? How are we going to make sure that you do this? Well, what I want you to do is to get a bit of paper and to write it down or draw what you want to do, what you decided with your friends would be a good thing to do to make the difference in the world. So by writing it down or by drawing it, you may not have time to do this now, you might have to do it at home later, but by writing it down or drawing it, you're committing to that and saying, that's really important to me, I want to do that. Um, and then what you need to do is to talk to a grown up about it and see whether they think it's safe and whether they think they can help you to do it. Um, they might help you to think of a slightly different thing that you could do. Um, but talk to a grown up that you trust to, to see if they can help you. Um, your teacher might be too busy to help you with this now. It might be they have to talk about it another time. Um, and then see what you can do to make that happen. And what I'd love to do is to come to school in September, um, or maybe you could make me a film, talking about what, what you did, what differences you've made, what things that you did to make the world a better place. I'd be really excited to hear about it. And if you've got any comments or anything, then um, your teacher can get in touch with me. Thanks very much.